Today's Paano Ba To Issue is about us women and the questions we sometimes get asked na medyo na-off tayo. So I decided to ask the advice of a dear friend of mine who gets asked these questions a lot in work and in her personal life and is super girl power. Hello! Hi! I'd like you to meet Anna Ocosa. So let's take a walk. Yes. Carry lang ba? Sige. Okay. So give me an example of one medyo off question you've gotten at work. Okay. So siguro mga four years ago, I was in a meeting. I was pitching a marine protected area to a local government. So pinaghirapan ko yung PowerPoint ko. Nagprepare ako, nagrehearse ako. Mm-hmm. Tapos after the 20 minute presentation, okay. sabi ko, are there any questions? The first question was, single ka ba? Grabe. Tapos sabi ko, ay! Next question po. Uh, oh. Innovate ko na lang. Tapos yung second question, alam ba ng boyfriend mo na nagta-travel ka palagi na mag-isa? O, oh, diba ganun? So, medyo irrelevant siya. Yeah. Nashock ako. On a more personal na naman, pag pumupunta ka sa mga family reunion, ganyan, itatanong sa'yo, oh, bakit hindi ka pa kinakasan? Yes, yung mga kaibigan mo engaged na? Oh, oh or, kailan ka magkakaalam? Kailan ka magkakaalam? Oh. Tapos pag may first child ka na, kailan mo susundan? Yes. <laughs> On a side and very important note about this, um, Anna, ano ba ako correct? Anna is so far not yet keen on having yes. kids. Ever since I was in high school, uh, I have always felt like I didn't want to be a mother. And that marriage is not a priority for oh, me. Oh. But yon. in the Pinoy culture, lagi tayo yes. natatanong, kailan ka ikakasal, kailan ka magkakanak. So mm-hmm. yon, how do you deal? Yes. Or what do you think? So, okay. it's very hard to explain na I don't feel like I need to get married by this certain age. Age, yeah. ganyan. Mm-hmm. And people don't really understand it. For example, one reunion, one of my tita said, you need to have kids so you have purpose in life. Shock na shock ako kasi parang, di ba yung trabaho ko? Purposeful, Purposeful naman, oh, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. um, but then, before, I would get pikon. Parang I'd say things like, it's not important. Or, why do you care? Mga okay. So, medyo nagsasnap yung lola mo. But over time, I realized that the definition of success for some people is to have a husband, to have kids. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think for, that's great. That's diba? my life. Yes. Oh, oh, and oh, oh. if that is what makes you happy. And successful. And successful. Mm-hmm. And that's what you imagine your life to be, then that's great. Yes. But if you're happy with your family, I guess you also want others to experience it. I think you have to understand that that's where people are coming from. Mm-hmm. So, hindi lang nila naiintindihan na yung happiness mo iba. Yeah. So for me, my happiness is working, traveling, going mm-hmm. to different places, setting up marine protected areas, teaching about marine conservation, and it's just different. Yeah. It's not wrong. It's not bad. Yes. It's just different. Another helpful thing that my a mentor told me is that having children, a husband or a wife, and having a stable job, like having a stable income, that is some people's definition of you being taken care of. They want that for you yes. as a kind of security or assurance that you're going to be okay when yes. you get older. Yes. So for example, yung questions, how does a woman deal with that? I think it depends on your personality. Because there are some who are able to brush it off. Mm-hmm. Some who are a bit more courageous in being frank. So yes. I have a friend that she told me that when people ask her, why don't you want kids? You know what I say? Hmm. I'm a selfish person eh. I just want my time for myself. I want my money for myself. Mm-mm. Para daw tapos na yung conversation. Oh, wala nang follow up. Oo. Tapos nasa-shock daw yung mga tao. Tapos Mm-mm. sinasabi daw niya, eh yun naman yung iniisip mo, di ba? Ginudge mo na naman ako wow. eh. <laughs> So, wow. so kung na ganun yung personality kung mo, kung dala mo yun, you go. can answer like that. But for the more shy, timid, I, I just say, ah, wala pa pong plano. Yeah. Ganon. The work-related The comments. work-related yeah. comments. I say, uh, ibalik po natin dun sa presentation kung meron po tayong tanong about the presentation. Mamaya na po yung personal life. Mm-hmm. So parang may halong chika para hindi naman masugnit. Kasi Totoo you want to work naman. with these people, di ba? Totoo din naman. <laughs> Um, just try not to take it personally. Like, it's really hard because, of course, your decision to get married or to have children or not to get married and to have children, it's personal and it's sacred. Malalim na hugot yung decision na Baka you haven't met the right one or you mm. met the right one but it's not the right time. Mm. Ganyan. So try not to take it personally but also at the same time, understand where other people are coming from.
ka naman gusto lang nila na masaya ka, but also understand your definition of happiness and be confident in that. Know your core and be honest and live your truth, not other people's truth for you. Ganda! Oh, thank you, Anna! Thanks, Lee. We hope that helped other women who also get comments like that. So that's it! Bye! So I was driving home and I really could not stop thinking about this topic. And I siguro I just want to add, because I've been there. Uh, we were asked, kailan kayo ikakasal? Nung kinasal, kailan kayo magkakaanak? Ngayon naman, now we have one daughter. We're asked, kailan yung susundan? So it's really difficult. Lalo na, people sometimes forget na baka may pinagdadaanan yung tao. For example, gusto na ng girl ikasal, pero yung lalaki, hindi pa ready. Eh, syempre, masakit yun kapag natanong ka kung kailan kayo ikakasal. For other couples who are having trouble getting pregnant, syempre, sakit nun kapag tatanungin ka na kailan kayo magkakaanak. Kasi it's not like ayaw mo, hindi pa lang nangyayari. So, my advice that worked for me is that you really just have to breathe in, breathe out kapag tinanong ka nun, you really have to extend your patience. And siguro, if you've ever asked someone that question, before you ask it, siguro prenuhin mo muna yung sarili mo and ask yourself, tatlong ko ba to? Or word it in such a way na kunyari, oh, plano nyo na bang magkaanak? Pag tinanong mo kasi, oh, bakit wala pa kayong anak? Kailan kayo magkakaanak? Parang medyo may attack ng konti. But at least if you ask, oh, plano nyo na bang magkaanak? It's a bit softer. It doesn't pressure you. It's just simply asking. Uh, that's it. See you next time!